Yes, this is Alex. I'm ready to roll. Oh, yeah, then in a minute we'll start walking. Put me on. Jason, can you hear me? Okay, I've got the uh, Vesco Field, one of the centers behind me. We're outside the American Presidential Experience mock uh, White House facility. We're just going to be able to turn off the video that's up on InfoWars.com uh, right now. And, of course, for all the great Justin TV folks, you can always tune in to the radio show after I'm gone. Continual coverage is the best guest out there. And Jason Burmans are a fabulous job sitting in. I just want to add before I give you a rundown of what happened yesterday, it was incredible. The Fabled Enemies is coming out in just five days. Pre-order the DVD now. You'll be the first. It'll be pre-packaged, ready to be shipped out to you on September 1st. And then in the evening of the 31st into September 1st, we're releasing Fabled Enemies at PrisonPlanet.tv. So please, folks, this film is so important. Please get it today. <clears throat> now, let me just break down what happened very succinctly. And I need the listener's help in countering this because if we don't counter this, will be added to the false legend or the false uh, background they've attached to my identity. Let me just break down for everybody exactly what happened yesterday. First, we, well, we've been all over town, but the first time we engaged the anarchists in uh, Recreate 68 was around noon or so. Everybody heard it here on the show. We're peacefully interviewing anarchists and streaming live over the web. They're yelling at us, bullhorning me in my face, saying that we're Recreate 68. Fifty yards away, they're having their speaker, Ward Churchill, and others are up there speaking. They start bullhorning. They say we're causing a disturbance. There's media everywhere. Police on horses, riot police. They start shoving me, pushing me, saying that I'm causing the disturbance. And so I, I just say, you know what? You want to violate my First Amendment? You want to do what the cops aren't doing? The cops weren't violating my First Amendment. I said, fine, I'm just going to leave. As I left, they shoved me some more, so I shoved one guy back. He didn't seem to like that. And as soon as I shoved him, they went, oh, look, he shoved him. So these are provocateurs of the worst type. Then, last night, or in the evening, about 6 o'clock here, 7 o'clock central, we go down by the Denver men, where they were going to go surrounded. They had the federal police with their machine guns behind it. They had the Denver police surrounded. It. It's about 300 Recreate 68 people maximum. I mean, I'd say 200 were Recreate 68 and anarchists. Pretty much I call it an anarchist group. Almost all of them are anarchists. Now, a lot of them were fans of the show. A lot of them hate the New World Order. But the leaders are all the really rabid ones. And it was just blew me away that I would have an anarchist, when I was just walking down the street, would come over and start hitting me on the arm. They would come over, and, and, and not hard, but just, ha uh-huh. You know, they'd walk up and say, beautiful day in the neighborhood, beautiful day in the neighborhood. they start hitting me with a flyer, then they hit me with their knuckles. And, and this went on and on, or I'd be in a crowd just peacefully videotaping, not even talking, they'd come up and, oh, I'm sorry, you know, run into me and start laughing, going, Alex Jones, Alex Jones. And they hate the fact that I've exposed that they're just clowns who get all the media attention because they act like these geeky clowns, and that it discredits everybody, Jason. So, so then all that happens, and, and, and then I've been there about 15 minutes in the main crowd <clears throat> down from this park right in front of the uh, Denver men, and... Luke Radowski, if we are changing, comes over and he goes, you know, that's Michelle Malkin right over there. So I go over to her, and at first I'm polite, but I go, you called for internment camps, you called for torture. And quote one of her bodyguards, one of the other bloggers she works with, it's linked on her site, comes over and goes, he literally says, I'm big, and starts going, ugh, ugh, you know, bumping into me with his stomach, because his chest, you know, was sunken in, but his big belly bouncing it up against me. I shouldn't talk about good stuff, too, but it's about five times mine. So this is about six foot five guys bumping into me, thinking it's going to intimidate me. <clears throat> that went on and on. And then there were like these four court jesters. They were even dressed up in like clown hats who were like little neocon frat boys. And they started going, kill Michelle Malkin, kill Michelle Malkin. 
And then they start screaming, Alex Jones said kill Michelle Malkin. And the Denver Post. But like, but listen, here's the issue. They were with some of the allied neocon bloggers. There were about, I'd say 12 of them, or maybe more total of Malkin and her people and some other cameras. And they were doing some feeds as well. But the point here is they expertly started screaming, kill Michelle Malkin. And then they'd say, look, he said kill Michelle Malkin. And the Denver Post bid on it, said, I said, kill Michelle Malkin. doesn't matter that all the videos archived at InfoWars.com for free. You can see it from multiple camera angles, other people's angles. I said nothing like that. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, if all that happened. And then I was very clear. I said, you said that InfoWars.com and myself were liars on your hot air website. You said that the Marines did not throw that puppy off the cliff, and she just looked totally guilty. Well, the Denver Post and a bunch of other newspapers got it wrong and said that, well, Alex Jones claims the Marines drowned puppies. So see, rather than facing the fact that I exposed that she was wrong and lied and said that we were liars about about them killing that puppy, and they don't care about dead Iraqi children, so we cover the puppy issue, everybody got outraged. Now it's admitted, the Marines admitted it was a real puppy. She said it was a robot puppy that we staged and it was fake. And instead, the Denver Post and, 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 and others, with several other papers, instead of them coming out and saying, and Alex Jones confronted her about how she denied the Marines killed that puppy, it was Alex made up that they drowned the puppy. So see, I'm on all these videos in front of the news saying, threw the puppy off the cliff, threw the puppy off the cliff. So they built a straw man of me saying that, that they drowned the puppy. That way I can now be a liar because Marines didn't drown the puppy. So, so see, this is the type of disinformation. So now, radio stations all over the country, print media, it's Alex Jones assaulted the poor, innocent Michelle Malkin. Alex Jones uh, made up stuff about drowning puppies. Alex Jones said kill her. Doesn't matter how many videos there are. Doesn't matter how much proof there is. Because these people are about lies. They are about deception. That's who they are. But I want to make clear. Her people were shoving me. They grabbed Rob Jacobson uh, with his $10,000 rig camera. They grabbed it. They got very, very violent with it. They were shoving on Aaron. And the next time he shoved me, I did shove him. And then he played like it was really a hard shove and went, oh, and like fell back. And they said, they pushed me. So, I mean, these people are despicable. They're obviously trained in them. Imagine their own people screaming, oh, the show mountain, and then screaming next. He said, kill her! And that's all on clear videos now. I talked to Paul Watson about an hour and a half ago before I went on talking about Martino and talked to in Denver. Um, and uh, Paul has now identified, and yes, it's clear, they're the ones screaming it, and they tried to frame me with it. Now, this isn't like uh, uh, German Callus, where, where, where they could have sold him and put him back to money in a wheelchair. Thank God we had video cameras, or that's exactly what they'd be saying. They'd say that I had you know, beating some girl in a wheelchair or something, to beat up an old lady. I mean, I guarantee you. <coughs> yeah, that's the other issue. They say, they say I'm a provocateur. They say I started it. They screamed out she's a patriot. They were helping her. This is what I'm talking about. You have the left and the right working together and to see that every crazy kid will ever tell you what they're about. Never stop the war, never stop the FEMA camps. It's all just... Look, there's other good demonstrations. There's the Falun Gong. There's other groups that are much bigger than them. Clean cut, happy families, whatever. This group is meant to get all the attention. I don't know if it's by design, but they're meant to act like clowns. They're meant to act like fools. They act like complete and total morons so that all other demonstrations are discredited. So, 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 so that the media can give them 90 plus percent of the coverage internationally these clowns get it, and man, when we show up on public streets, they get pissed because they do not want us to get any of the media attention. Frankly, I don't even like going down around these things. They got demonstrations going on right now. I'm not even going to. We could go in there right now and basically, you know, have them. Att they would come attack us. That would become the media spectacle, and then they'll say that it's us attacking them. But I want to be clear. They talk about how they're nonviolent. They've attacked Rob. They've attacked Aaron. They've attacked myself. They, I mean, they come up, they, they, they punch you, they push you. Their favorite thing is to elbow you in the ribs. And then if you push them back or even say, stop it, they start screaming, no, don't be violent. No, 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 don't be bad. Don't do that. He's hitting me. I mean, these people are sick. And, the, and they're, I mean, let me tell you, Malcolm's people 
and the recreate liberals they all